All right, guys. This is the Wabagong. This is the Wabagong shark from Australia, from the species Oryctolobidae. All right. It's a Oryctolo forms like this whale shark. I'm lacking the carpet sharks. Oryctolobid forms means carpet shark. I like the carpet sharks. And I'm missing a lot of them. So that's why I'm getting on to the nurse. But here, we are going to analyze the Wobbegong from Oryctolobidae. The details is good. I mean like, there's a lot of color in here. There's a lot of detail, like hiding in the sand in the tides. Just like you have to think. And in here, this is a female. And in the, in the underside, there's really just nothing in it except for a mouth. The bad thing about this figure, it's it, it's kinda inaccurate. Because four gills. Wobegongs have five, just like other sharks. Race counted as well. Here is um there is a shark ray. Which is not a shark. All right, here, this Wobbegong is very similar to a rock corals to hide in the tide. This is called camouflage. Its eyes is not really detailed, but I guess okay. Now we're talking about the sculpt. Now the sculpt. It is pretty good, as you can see, like, not really as good as some other sh sharks. I mean, like, why Safari and Collector haven't released a Wabagong? This is from Sklitch, the Wabagong, Sleek. I misspell Sleek all the time because it's so weird and... Like, I can't pronounce Gleek that well as well, so... For some room improvement, I need to get more Gleek figures. Maybe a real Gleek figure, because this one doesn't say anything on the bottom. There, anywhere, doesn't say anything. But this is reminiscent to the Gleek Wobbegong. That is discontinued. Of course, the toy has barbels. It wouldn't be a Wobbegong without it. And it's tail like carpet shark. Other than that, we have the Sleek Wobbegong. Not really, really that detailed on the sculpt. Just a normal shark body plan. But the bad thing about this figure is because that is lacking in accuracy. I'll show you why. Here is a Wabagong in the illustration, and here is the Wabagong in the in toy form. The tail is wrong. As you can see, they have very pushed up anal fins near the caudal fin. And the caudal fin is wrong in this figure. Yes. And also, uh, these Wabegongs have different type of patterns, which is good for the this click Wabegong. They also have four, five, five gills. It is very blurry in camera, but actually, even this one has five gills. This one has no spiracles. The ones that are like this. In here. This is a ray, the sawfish. But sharks also have spiracles on some occasions. Yes, so that basically this Wabagong is not so accurate. 
here is the image that resembles this toy. Very similar. This image is also inaccurate because of the lack of the spherical's. So this is a very old image. I'm guessing that. So yeah, maybe the creators like made it not so like a detail like they copied from here and I don't really know what to say after that. This is a strange resemblance. It's even worse when you show it to this image. This image is a very highly accurate Wobbegong shark. Although it's different from others, but it's still the most accurate. This Wobbegong looks very good in detail. But this Wobbegong looks very similar. However, it's missing a lot of things from the real anatomy of a real Wobbegong. The sit and lie and wait part. Remember not to disturb the Wobbegongs, otherwise you'll end up as this guy. So just be careful. Wobbegong toys are very rare right now. This is one of the only toys existing. I would recommend Collecta or Safari to make one, or even Papo, but Papo is out of my reach, so that means I can't get it. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. Before like and subscribe if you want to see more analysis videos, and I'm very excited to get the Angel Shark from, to, from this batch from Collecta. Because they're very similar sharks, but in a very different um, species. Angel sharks are not um, carpet sharks. Bye guys. We'll see you next time. I'm also going to make a new type of video called the fact videos. Alright. Goodbye.